Hey everybody, Gary Fong here, and I wanted to give you an update on Kelowna as Canada's first 5G pilot program city. For those of you who have not been following all the drama, back on Thursday, May 28th, our local news outlets announced that Kelowna was about to become Canada's first 5G pilot program city. Following an announcement by our mayor, Colin Bazarin, saying that this is an exciting opportunity for Kelowna to build on the work we're doing to bring smart city technologies to our city. And then he went further to say that transportation has always been a top concern for our citizens and one of the council's top priorities. The six-month test program started on June 1st. However, bizarrely, on June 29th, the street was closed to vehicular traffic. A six-month 5G pilot program to study traffic patterns closed weeks after the launch. The testing was to be done on a very short section of streets, specifically the 300 block of Bernard Avenue, an area with three large banks and a handful of small shops and restaurants. So I wrote the mayor expressing my concerns, not only for the impact on tourism that announcing our city is Canada's first 5G pilot program city, what with all the uproar over concerns over the safety of 5G, and I asked him if it was worth risking our reputation as a tourism destination as well as the health of our residents in order to more efficiently manage resources such as garbage collection, parking spaces, and traffic systems. And our mayor said that he was thrilled Canada became a 5G pilot city, while Belgium's environment minister, Céline Fremont, refused 5G for Brussels, saying very ominously, the people of Brussels are not guinea pigs whose health I can sell at a profit. Are the people of Kelowna guinea pigs? Was their health sold at a profit? Does the city of Kelowna belong to the mayor or the residents? And should he be the one that says when you get 5G or not without even asking the residents of the city? On June 1st, the city activated the system and I started getting messages from my friends who live downtown, such as this one. I'm a yogi and my joints all ache. My ears ring. It feels like they're popping all day. I went camping and felt great to come home and feel shitty. Here's another one. I couldn't fall asleep last night for so long. My hands ached like crazy. I woke up this morning drenched in sweat and such a heavy feeling on my chest and my heart racing. Like seriously, I never feel like this. This is absolutely garbage. Here's another one. My ears are always ringing and now that you mention it, I was massaging my hands all day yesterday thinking maybe I'm getting arthritis. Another one. My brain actually hurts. I've also been having weird heart pain. As soon as I pulled into my condo yesterday, I had to stop for a second as my heart felt like it was going to jump out of my body. And this last one. Hey Gary, just saw your video. I've been experiencing vertigo and dizziness for the last three weeks at work on Harvey and Birch, which I never did before. Interesting. Now my question is, is why am I compiling all of these and people are getting hurt or complaining of being hurt if you're the mayor, aren't you supposed to go out and find out what's wrong? But he takes these letters. Um, I, I forwarded the complaint to the letters, and this is the response I got. He, he said, I can't explain the multitude of reasons people get migraine headaches and joint pain, but what I can tell you is that the pilot project you are so concerned about is using LTE, which is what most people already have on their mobile devices. I then met at the mayor's office with his representatives and they told me that there was no 5G in Kelowna, period, and that with a delay in the spectrum sale and larger municipalities most likely having 5G networks first, it could be some time before we see a rollout in Kelowna and that there is currently no 5G equipment installed anywhere in Kelowna. I asked him why the mayor would then call it 5G if it was simply 4G LTE. And they told me that 5G was a moniker, a trademark from Rogers, who wanted to be seen as the fifth generation in cell technology, even though the 5G smart city pilot program, according to them, does not use increased frequencies or 5G equipment. So I asked them in an email to confirm my notes, and they did. They insisted, again, that there was no 5G anywhere in Kelowna, unaware that I had already received photographs taken by a radio installer who said he was working nonstop during the coronavirus lockdown, wondering why in cellular installers were an essential service, and he photo furnished photographs saying that I don't even want to work around this garbage. 
Last week I met with a group in Vernon, a community activist group, and everyone had these really cool EMF monitors, which I'm kind of addicted to. You've probably seen my last few YouTubes where I'm going around the house and finding out like where all the dangerous levels are, um, not only your router, but your desktop computer. Um, and, uh, you know, it's really quite interesting. Well, someone at that uh, little get-together said that they noticed a huge spike in radiation between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, near the near Pandosi and Bernard. So I went downtown myself to see what the radiation levels were now that I got this cool device. As soon as I arrived downtown, my EMF meter started to spike. I could tell something was wrong because I felt a sense of vertigo. I had an instant ringing in my right ear and began to smell something metallic. Wrote all these notes down. I took the meter to the corner of Bernard and Pandozzi and did a reading, and I found something very interesting. I found low RF readings for the 4G LTE uh, 2.4 gigahertz band of 0.001 milliwatts per square meter, but an intense peak of 354 milliwatts per square meter in the range covering up to 10 gigahertz, which of course is the 5G bandwidth. According to the Bioinitiative report, researchers reported headaches, concentration difficulties, and behavioral problems starting at 0.03 to 0.5 milliwatts per square meter. So my readings there that day were 11,800 times stronger than where adverse health effects were reported. I went to a restaurant in that area to record and log my observations and I left my meter on and suddenly it began to squeal at me and I picked it up. As you can see in this video, the meter read extreme and gave readings of over 2,000 volts per meter where anything over 10 is considered unsafe. Interestingly enough, Dr. Bonnie Henry, uh, yesterday the provincial health officer for Kelowna, claimed that an outbreak of COVID-19 originated from, of all places, downtown Kelowna. Why are they targeting downtown Kelowna so much? Why are they putting everybody out on the street in patio seating so that they can be out in the open? It's just an interesting thought. And then why all of a sudden is Canada's health focused on downtown Kelowna, the originator of the 5G pilot program city? Those are questions to ask. This can't be encouraging for tourism, seeing as to how if you do a Google search for 5G pilot cities, the first thing you would get is mentions of Wuhan, China, maybe some Mythbuster uh, websites, and Kelowna, BC. Those are the two uh, search results. Now, Wuhan is widely known as the first pilot program city for 5G. Now, shortly after their activation, coronavirus broke out. Coincidentally, Kelowna, BC, Canada's first pilot program city, activated on June 1st, and then reported a breakout of COVID-19. Is there really an outbreak of COVID-19 in Kelowna? I have friends who are doctors and nurses who work at Kelowna General Hospital, and they said they have yet to see a sign of a COVID outbreak. And as of this date, I have yet to personally know anybody who has died of COVID. I only know one person who's ever had it, which would be Jerry uh, Guionis, the photographer. Um, but yet I do personally know two people who have taken their own lives as a result of the lockdown. Now, Mayor Bazarin has been silent about the situation in Kelowna, finally speaking uh, yesterday, Monday, where the media reported that he won't say if the COVID cluster is concerning. On that point, I'll agree with them. There is no need for concern as there are only a total of eight people in the city who initially tested positive over the holiday weekend. So why is this outbreak in the news and why specifically downtown Kelowna, where the 5G pilot program is currently on? Why does this follow a similar pattern to Wuhan, China? That question I'll leave for you to speculate in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.